if we had stayed at the local hospital, I'm not sure that we would have him. And I just remember staring at him and holding him and thinking, what if I don't get another one of these days? When Kian was born, everything was normal. He was about a day old, and I noticed that he was kind of holding his breath. So I called the nurse in. The nurse took him away, checked him out, and said everything was fine. Nothing really happened again until he was about three months old. He was being just not the normal three-month-old, I thought. And she said everything was fine. He might just be a little bit delayed. Then about five months, I got a call from my mom, and my mom said, I think Kian is having a seizure and I can't wake him up. So after that, we took him into the hospital and they kept telling us, we don't know what's going on. They were about to send us home. I will never forget this. The lady left the room, she shut the door and she was maybe halfway down the hallway and he started having a spell and he started turning purple and he wasn't breathing. And I yelled out the door, he's having one, he's having one. And she came running back in. There was a million doctors, and this was at our local hospital. Probably three or four weeks in, they still couldn't figure it out. And then finally, a resident doctor there on that floor, it's like, I don't, I don't know what we can do for him. Kaylee and I were very shooken up. Our world was turning right before our eyes. Kian got here, we showed up, and literally the neurologist, the whole department was right there waiting for us to walk into the room told us exactly what was going on. This is what they're gonna do, and this is how we're gonna treat him from here on out. It blew my mind. She tells us he has something called a genesis of the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is the middle part of the brain. It helps navigate the signals from the right to the left and the left to the right. The way that causes issues with Kian is that since his developed a little bit, but not completely, his brain was misfiring quite a bit, and still is. It causes seizures, it causes lapse in development, your milestones are not met. It really is a disability that affects every part of your life. Everybody is completely different, and it's very rare, so the small amount of people that do have it, it's all different. He doesn't walk, um, he is wheelchair bound, he cannot say words completely. He can say mom and dad, and he can communicate with us by a couple sign language things and you know, shake his head yes and no, but ACC affects your eating, it affects your vision, it affects everyday, everyday life things, like just simple things as learning a word. He went from hundreds of seizures a day to like two. And then a th few days after that, he was down to none. And he started making noises and he started lifting his head up and he started acting like a normal five month old. And it was amazing. But then he relapsed and started having seizures again. And like he started regressing in his skills. We spent, I think it was close to about another month up here. They started him on the ketogenic diet, which he's been on for pretty close to five years now. The lifestyle of that kid has just changed tremendously. Ever since we started that, the seizures have dissipated. It's been a long time since he's had a seizure and like his motor skills are coming back to him tremendously. He had scoliosis pretty bad. That's kind of another thing. And ACC affects your muscles. It was affecting it, his organs and he wasn't able to eat again. So he started vomiting. We also made that decision to get the magic rods in his back. Every three or four months they take this machine and they put it on his back and they kind of inch it up a little bit each time. But that's kind of how he grows. With his back being straightened and fixed, he's able to move, he's able to enjoy life. He sits up at his desk at school, same height as his kids, so it's amazing. There's no handbook for having a child with special needs, so them kind of guiding us through in each thing, um, you know, his neurologist, his dietitian, his orthopedic surgeon, each person makes sure that we're on the path that we need to be, and it's just great. The quality of life that they're able to give my son means the absolute world to me and my family. They literally saved his life.